DM Angling Apparel have been going for quite a few years now and it's fair to say the company have gone from strength to strength. It's quite obvious to see this when you walk around various lakes, everyone's got their clothing on, not just lakes either, you know, quite often I go into the supermarket and bump into people with DM Angling gear on as well, so uh, you know, it really is really popular stuff. The range has grown massively over the years, I had no idea that DM were producing so many items. We've got the full lot to have a look at today. I'm going to start with the t-shirts. They do 12 different t-shirts. Uh, they're available in different colours, you know, different sort of styles. You've got some with sort of big logos on, some that are far more subtle, some with some cheeky um, slogans on, you know, like cart fishing ruin my life. I think I should have one of them myself. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a bit of fun, and, but bottom line is, they're all very comfortable and top quality materials. Next up we've got the old pullover hoodies, there's three different ones in this style. Um, the one I'm wearing, nice and sort of minimal design. And you've got this one, property of DM, official carp champions. <laughs> um, also it's got a nice bit of colour in that logo, looks pretty cool. And then last but not least, the old DM college. <laughs> Again, all of these, really nice material, really cosy, nice pocket for your hands there. The hoods have also got this lining in them, which feels really nice against your skin. Um, you know, it's just a lot more cosy, really. Next up, the old zip-up hoodies. Again, a couple of different ones in the range. This one's pretty smart, um, very cosy, but also it's got quite a unique little design on it. For when you're fishing and it's really, really cold, you just want to keep all that wind out and everywhere got like a built-in balaclava in the hood so I can really see that coming in handy in the winter when it's freezing cold and you just want every little bit of comfort you can get but when you're not using it it just tucks away into the hood as if it wasn't even there <laughs> another nice feature these have got is the old thumb slots obviously brilliant for when you're putting your jacket on um, also at night you know when you're sleeping it stops the sleeves from riding up just keeps you all nice and snug. This is the other balaclava version, exactly the same, however, it's in green and also the balaclava is in red. Um, looks pretty cool actually. Obviously, the logo on the back there stands out nicely, and you've got the, the red seams here as well. Just adds an extra little bit of style, really, doesn't it? This is the nice zip through camo hoodie, which features a unique collar. Now, Obviously that helps to keep the draft out, but anything against your neck in the, cool, in the cooler weather just makes you feel that much more snug and cosy. So it makes a big difference, even though it's only a small little feature. As well as that, obviously you've got the normal pockets and the zip-through pockets. Now obviously these open pockets are great for your hands, but when you put bits and bobs in there, they tend to fall out. So anything you've got you need to keep secure, you can pop them in there and they're not going anywhere. Again with the hood, features that new lining, it's really snug and cosy and uh, obviously you've got the little bit of red in there as well just to make it a bit smarter. If you wanted, there's track trousers available in the same camo pattern, as you can see, really nice and comfortable these. They're also available in a plain green. Great thing about track trousers is the comfort factor. Really nice and cosy to wear underneath in your bivvy. Obviously if you do need to go out into the elements then there's other items that you can put on over as protection and that's what we're going to have a look at now. Check out that for a range of hats. Really is something for everyone. It's getting to that time of year now where you'd be stupid to go fishing without a nice bit of headgear. Apparently uh, your head keeps like 60% of your body heat so if you're not wearing a hat you're going to be losing a lot of your body heat. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look at the range. Obviously as I said various different ones. You've got some nice knitted beanies in different colours. Um, you've got this, this funky one which has pretty wacky colours on it. You've got the nice bits that come down over your ears and also it goes down the back of your neck as well so it just keeps you really snug and warm. I know, uh, I think Daryl Peck's got one of these, I'm sure I've seen him with a big fish with one of these on. <laughs> anyway, uh, also in the sort of funky coloured one, there's your normal type of beanie. God, they're all snug and warm these, I think I should just keep these on. <laughs> As I said, loads of different um, warm ones, but also, you know, I know a lot of people like a baseball cap. There's four different baseball caps there. You've got a nice camo, sort of plain green, plain black with the, the red rims, obviously. Uh, they've all got that. And then you've got this one, which is camo on the front, but it's more mesh at the back. And obviously in the warmer weather, that just helps to keep you cooler. 
Now I always like to keep some lightweight waterproofs in the car and these ones are absolutely perfect for that. Waterproof, breathable and not only that they fold down to virtually nothing and you even get a little bag to put them into. But great thing about them is obviously you can just chuck them in the back of the car, you hardly even know they're there but they're there for whenever you need them. There's also this really nice lightweight outer shell jacket which again is waterproof, windproof and breathable and as you can see it's even got waterproof zips on the pockets and up the front too. Last in the lightweight waterproof range is the Light Tech bib and brace. The great thing about these is you can whip the straps off and they're just a plain pair of trousers. Again fully waterproof and breathable so great to just chuck on over whatever you're wearing. Whilst we're on bib and braces here's the heavy duty bad boys. Got a proper nice thick fleece lining keep you really snug and warm Get nice pockets on the side to keep your hand in and these things are absolutely fantastic. Obviously because you've got the straps on and because it rises above your normal trouser line they just keep all that cold out and keep you feeling proper cosy. Now obviously we are coming into the winter now so it's that time of year when you do need to think about much warmer clothing and uh, this is the heavyweight technical jacket again fleece lined it's really thick really cosy you know that whatever conditions you're going out in with this on, you're going to be absolutely fine. All the normal features you'd expect on a quality jacket and of course a really nice hood too. All in all, a proper bit of kit that's going to keep you warm wherever. <laughs> now I thought that last jacket was about as snug as you're going to get, but check out this. This has got to be the ultimate winter gear. It's a three-in-one jacket. It's lined with a really nice thick and cosy inner which can be worn obviously on its own as well. So they've also got the outer which you can obviously chuck over anything else. That's also got a lining in it so it's warm, waterproof and breathable but this is what it's all about. This nice thick cosy padded jacket inside with again you know nice fleecy bits for your hands. This is going to be coming out with me this winter for sure. Another great way of keeping warm in the cold body warmers. The fantastic thing about these is they don't restrict your arm movement at all. So obviously casting anything like that, not an issue and they're nice and cosy. This is the soft shell jacket, really nice and cosy, 100% breathable so great for chucking on over whatever you like and also if you were getting a bit hot and sweaty it's got little vents for your pits. <laughs> Last but certainly not least is this quilted EQ jacket. Now, as I said earlier, it's not just the sort of clothing you wear on the bank, you'd happily wear it wherever, whatever you're doing. And this style of jacket is a perfect example of that. It's got nice suede bits around the collar, on the pockets, and around the hem as well. As well as being smart and tarty, it's also really nice and snug too. Now, I've got to tell you, I've been seriously impressed with the DM range that we've had a look at today. Obviously, we haven't had time to go through all the features, but if you visit their website, you'll be able to find out any bits of information you need. It's also available in various tackle shops, so you can check it out there too. And as you can expect, there'll be plenty more to come in the future. Keep up the good work, DM.